Tis the weekend of Halloween, and after such a tough year, costumes and candy are here in full gear. Fauci says skip the parties inside, but this year trick-or-treating can slide. Trick-or-treat! Particularly if you're vaccinated. You're outdoors for the most part. Enjoy it. If you're sending your kids out to get candy, make sure they have something reflective handy. But there are situations that happen where kids get hurt. To make your kids visible, so you can just run to the dollar store and buy some of those um, bracelets or, or um, other things that sort of glow in the dark or light up. Doug Parisi, police captain of 20 years, says some internet sleuthing can quell certain fears. Um, every county in the, in the United States has some uh, sexual predator registry. You just need to know where those houses are and make sure that you're kids know generally where those houses are. The other thing that most most um, communities have is some sort of police blotter, which will tell you just sort of the stuff that's happened, say, in the last month. And you just want to look at that and make sure that there isn't a house that somehow the same address comes up two or three times. And yes, COVID is something we still want to foil. Social distancing six feet apart from each other. For tips on that, here's Dr. Doyle. Well, we, we still encourage masking. We still encourage keeping things separate and socially distance as much as possible, limiting who's handing out the candy, having lots of hand sanitizer around. Normally we ask you to inspect the candy anyway, but maybe think about wiping it down. Set up outside so you can kind of regulate the flow and people can be even more spread out. If you are wary of handing out candy, the experts say something like tongs or even making a candy slide out of PVC pipe could give you some comfortable distance. It's also a good time to get your booster shot if you qualify.